right, what's up IFO fans? The gates are open. You know, I live for these events. I need these events. Who is gonna go home with best Civic, best Nissan? Let's find out what your favorite is. Best Toyota, best freaking everything. And what goes home with best of show? You know, the hundreds of show cars we see, all the race cars we see, sometimes, for reasons unknown, a car just calls out to me. Can't quite put my finger on it. rare this happens. I mean, this is super rare. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio winning an Oscar. It almost never happens that I don't know what I'm looking at. I want to say that's like an early 60s Jag, but those wheels say no. I'm going to find the owner operator. We're going to see what's going on. All right, I think I've located them. Sir, what is your name? And please tell me, what am I looking at? This thing is gorgeous. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm Doc Ryan. This is a 1994 Mitsuoka Butte, which is a low production Japanese domestic. Uh, it's based on a uh, Nissan Micra, or some parts of the world sold as a Nissan March. 
Mitsuoka is a really small factory in Japan, and uh, they do special things with cars. They do a lot of retro stuff and some really unusual stuff. So everything about this car, it looks both, I mean, this thing looks like it's straight out of the 60s, but it's not. It is not. It's a 94, but it's an homage to the uh, early 60s Jaguar Mark II. How many heads do you turn daily driving this car? Well, uh, I get a lot of people who thumbs up and compliment me, but they think they're seeing a Jaguar. In fact, it even fools a lot of Jaguar people. This thing looks like something James Bond, very early Bond, would have driven. Um, because it being looking like a Jag, but it's right-hand drive. So this car is not just gorgeous. It's not just rare, but this car has set records. It set the land speed record. Land the land speed record. We're not talking quarter mile here. It set a land speed record. All right, tell me about that. Well, you have to remember those records are by class. So it's not any high speed that it did. It's just the highest speed for a car with that engine configuration, that production number, and that type. That's what the record is. He for. sets records, he drives these awesome cars, and he's still very humble. Doc, thank you again. Thank you. We have a shedding problem with that, but imagine a motorcycle that sheds.
we're having a great time. I'm checking out a lot of these cars, and I'm looking over my shoulder at this. What the hell's going on with this car? Okay, so first thing I notice is. I thought his father should give him his first name. There's a full entertainment system on this thing. Yeah. All right, my man, what's your name? You, with a car like this, I'm sure you have just a run-of-the-mill name like John or something like that. No, Bling. Bling, Bling your name is Bling? Yeah, Bling. I thought I had a cool name. You you win the trophy. <laughs> For coolest name here, Bling. So this thing sounds exotic. What's going on in the engine? Um, I got a stage cam, stage three cam. Um, Edward Brock, uh, supercharger headers. Sir, That's awesome. Alright, so tell me everything we're looking at with this car. Um, this car got a lot of stuff on it. It got the Lambo doors. I got uh, 10 uh, DL18s, uh, exhaust pipes, cams, headers, trunnion kit replacement. Got the speed headers. Um, got the suicide doors. Uh, I mean, just got the whole full super, super fetch body kit. Um, just the whole works, man. You gotta, what, what was this when you bought it? I um, remember just a plain old C6 base model, nothing on it. Um, I went to put the Lamborghini doors on it and look for a spoiler, and then I ended up spending over $130,000 on the car. You've spent $130,000 on this car? Yes, Hold on, wait, so here, wait. Let's just look at the couple of them. That's more than the five cars behind you can buy. And I gotta tell you, man, I would be shocked if this car didn't go home with something. Well, you know, man, I like, I like the, you know, setting the imports face off, y'all. Very, very, very good car show, you know. Very good people always take care of you, so. All right, you know, guys, you're gonna remember this car. If anything, you're gonna remember Blake. Blake, thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, what dumbass. Yeah. 